how to use Elementor's blend mode to create beautiful and impressive hero sections for your website. And well, not only for hero sections, but other parts of your website as well. So I'm going to edit with Elementor and I'm going to delete it and I'm going to show you from scratch how to do that. So I'm going to make a new section here. Well, a container, it's a flex, a flex box. And I'm going to take the standard, this one, and I'm going to make it full width and I'm going to change the, the minimum height to view port height and I'm going to put 70 or you can put 100, it will take the whole screen or you can put 90 for 90% 90 of the screen. I'm going to put 70. Okay. And now I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to style and I'm going to choose an image I like this kit because it has nice images that can help me showcase this tutorial. I'm going to take this image because it has a lot of stuff going on in the background. And here we have this one position. Well, let's keep it to default and uh, display size cover. I'm going to put cover there. And now I'm going to add some text heading where it is. Oh, it's up there and it is in black letters. So I'm going to change the text color to uh, white and I want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to go here to direction. Okay. Vertical justify center and also the align items center. Uh, but I want it to be bigger like the font size. So I'm going to go to typography. Well, either you have your um, global fonts or you can just change it here. I'm going to change it here for the purposes of this tutorial, but I usually work with uh, global fonts. So I'm going to make it big, like really big. Let's keep it to round numbers, 140. Okay. And line height, I'm going to keep it to regular one. Okay. Now, if we go back here, we go to blend mode and let me show you something. I'm going to select here. We have different options, which they will probably remind you if you're using Photoshop, it is the similar blending mode options that you have. Uh, I'm going to go for difference. And did you see what happened? Did you see what happened? The text changes color or, you know, it changes according to the background image. So for this effect to really showcase what it can do the blend mode it's good to, to use a background image with a lot of elements so that you can see the difference i hope you enjoyed my tutorial i hope it can help you create some fancy and good looking hero sections and uh, let me know in the comments or share your link if you have used it somewhere i would love to see it like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you so much for watching and see you next time